And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? These what? games are 100% live. We are sitting right. in the lobby right now with Select and Axloff ready to go for game number one. As you guys can see there, we're loading up on Incineration Zone. That's right. It's <laughs> Incineration Zone, our first map in Ye Old Map Tournament. Yeah. And, or as we like to call it, Yomped. Yomped, yes. It's Yomped. The so Yomped. From now on, we will refer to it as Yomped, actually. So this is what... We're going to see. So, yeah, Incineration Zone, check it out. You can kind of see it a little bit in the middle there. It's quite a small map, I guess, to say yes. the least. Yes, uh, it is. It's got sort of a... Well, we'll, we'll kind of talk a little bit more about the map as we get into it, as the loading screen commences. So, yeah, Dignitas Select versus Infinity 7 Axe Lab. Ridiculous. These guys right now, I got to <laughs> say, all right, well, let's, inter let's introduce the players. All right, here we go. Stop laughing. <laughs> this is a serious tournament, All right, Kevin Naki. All right, okay. All, all right. right, so... Here we go, guys. On the map, Incineration Zone from Beta. We yes. have our blue Protoss player from the team, Infinity7. It is Axlav. And on the left side of the map, in the upper left, it is our red Terran player from the team, Dignitas. It is Select. Oh, my so, God. I can't, I'm, I, I'm actually casting a game right now on Incineration Zone. I know. It's kind of blowing my mind it's a, a little bit. It's a blast from the past, man. It's the ye old map tournament. So Yomping it up. You said what is that, that critter? The, this? What is that? Oh, it's not selectable. Oh, you can't select it. No, Look at that. unfortunately. It's like a little. It's like a little lava bug. Yeah, that's actually exactly Look how at, I was going to describe it coolest, as well. They have the coolest critters on these maps. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame it's we true. don't see this anymore. It's a very early probe coming out hey. right after pylon for Axlav. Actually, it just looks early because the map is so small. It's <laughs> tiny. Yes, but there is only one so, Zelnaga Tower. Yes, so. that's a right. Very forward thinking. Early it map. has nine less than one of the other maps in our tournament, Kulas Ravine. So keep oh, that in mind. The Zelnaga. Oh, God, that map. So many bad memories and yeah. wonderful memories all at the same time. One of the best games I've ever seen on that map, actually. Oh, Pain User fun, versus so. Noni. Remember back at uh, NLG, uh, still one of my favorite games of all time. I don't remember that one. Oh, Map I Stores. I have remember, to go watch like, it. like, Idra versus Druby back I, from, from that map. That was one of the ones. I remember Liquid Nazgul <laughs> defeating Idra at MLG on that map oh, back in the day right. with Blink Stalkers. Blink Stalkers, yep. Yes. All right. Well, a little bit of harassment from Axlav here, just trying to uh, throw his opponent off even more than just being on this map. And so how it works, guys, is, is basically both players get to veto a map. They each get to veto a map that they don't want to play on. Um, but beyond that, it's just loser's picks. We pick the first map of the series. All the matches are best of fives as well, so we should see a good variety of awesome old maps. Let me just read off the uh, the map list real quick for people who are just joining us. Okay. It is, you ready for this? Kevin, I am. Kevin I think Naki. I am. All right. I think I am. It is, uh, here's the maps list. It is Steps of War, Kulas Ravine, Desert Oasis. I know you're happy about that. Jungle, you bet. Jungle Basin. Lost Temple, not Shattered Temple, Lost Temple, Blistering Sands, Scrap Station, and of course the map that we are starting on, Incineration Zone. Oh god. So cool. But here's the thing. The statistics have never been more important, Kevin Naki, because Axlav right now has a winning record in IPL events, so this is a big deal for him, man. He's 2-2 in overall matches in the StarCraft 2 history versus Select. If he beats Select now, he will take the lead in their overall rivalry, and... It's all going to happen here at Yield is Map it, Tournament. Is it? Well, look at this. Select, That's right. Select throwing down a factory uh, off of uh, just one gas for now. Actually yes. putting a tech lab. Oh, there we go. Finally, second gas as well. So this is going to be very concerned. Well, not really a surprise on Incineration Zone, but one base play. Uh, Axlov uh, doesn't really know what his uh, opponent is up to quite yet. He saw the barracks up at the front. He saw first gas. Um, so he knows a little bit of tech is coming should, at him. He should have a pretty good idea. I mean, here's the thing. Naturally, you would expect a Terran player to 1-1-1 one, one, one on this map. Um, it is very good in TVP, and a map like this, it seems like the safest strategy to do. Look at that fighting over that single Zell Naga Tower. Now, my question is, are we going to see Axlav kind of pay attention to those back rocks? He is actually going to start breaking them down with a sentry. That may take a little while. I yes. think Zergling is the only unit in the game that will break down those rocks slower. Huh. Um, but yeah, these back rocks might become an issue, right? You can get you to your opponent's base very, very quickly. Look at that. He can actually warp in past those rocks, get there even quicker, Kevin. Yes, he can. And uh, with yes. the robotics bay coming up, he's investing into one base tech himself as well. We kind of didn't know what sort of things we were going to see on this map. Were yeah. we going to see new strategies that just happen to be on the old maps? Probably were we, not. 
were we going to see revisiting the old, you know, uh, you, yeah. you said you were studying some of the HDH games. Were we right. going to get a return to those days? Uh, and for now, we'll see what's going to come out here as uh, ah, already close. Banshee's hitting for select. They will take approximately four seconds to hit his opponent's base. That's right. And if we look down by the back rocks for select as well, he's already building a supply depot who he wants to be aware of what's happening to those rocks. Definitely important to keep in mind. And Especially we as we move on to other maps like Blistering Sands, man. Very much hated so. hated that map in beta. I did not like playing on it because <laughs> I always forgot about the back rocks. Really? Like, Just air units yeah. all day. That's all right. day on that map. That's um, right. Let's see here, though. Our first Immortal popping up. Two more gateways on the way as well. So both these guys, very, very heavy one base play. Select even oh, adding yeah. on a tech lab now. So we will eventually move into uh, some siege tanks with Excuse these me. Banshees, adding on a bunch of Marines. Full on 1 1 1 pressure. His opponent, yeah, man. <laughs> Axlop, though, he's broken down those first set of rocks. He sure has. He could start moving towards his opponent base right now. And he's going and he's already at his opponent's base right now. He's arrived. Okay. Yes, he is. So that is. was quick. Oh, and look oh, at that. Uh -oh. Banshee already picks up on the units that are yep. out there. Um, he's still going to continue flying across. Axelov going to need a little bit of anti-air for this. <laughs> he does have that uh, uh, that uh, Observer coming up now, but he's going to uh, yes. need a couple of Stalkers as well. He does. Look at that timing. Slick getting that Banshee there just as Cloak is about to finish. Stalker's getting a few hits off on it, but he does manage to Cloak in time. The Observer, though, is coming out right now. It is out, and I think this Banshee is in trouble for Select. He needs to make a run for it. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, so, oh there's actually an Immortal sitting over head as well, yeah. but watch oh, this. Look at this. <laughs> so oh, no. base is already <laughs> under attack by Axlov. Oh, man. The back rocks were not respected enough. He didn't build a bunker at his back rocks, and now Axlav is in his base. The Banshee is down. Does Select have enough to defend here? I don't know, man. He's already pulled SCPs off the line, losing a lot of that critical mining time. He's got yep. a Banshee sitting overhead as well, but uh -huh. uh, Axlav continues to feed in. A lot more units pulling ahead in supply as well. Yes, he is. Those two Immortals are going to be such a big problem for Axlav here. That one tank is not going to survive very long. Nice force field breaking the units away away, or keeping the units away, rather, from the fight, allowing Axelab to get into position here. Yeah, it looks like uh, one Stalker does go down there, but yep. so much has already been lost. If we take a look at the workers killed, 17 workers killed for our Protoss player there, and wow. Select is just really on the back foot, losing a this. few more units. He is finally managing to drive this away. Yeah. Of course, this is Incineration Zone, so Axelab has not expanded behind us, though. You know, it, he is very sentry heavy, too. This is interesting, too, because um, the type of build that we see Axelab do is actually something that White Rod did quite a bit in the HDH Invitational. Very immortal heavy. People were building a ton of immortals back then because they were a good solid unit to get out very early in the game. And so it's kind of funny to see that come back right away in our first game between these two players here. Now, Axelab did some good economic damage, but he's still got a lot to contend with from Select. This game is definitely not over yet. All right, well, Select making his way to his opponent's base as well. I have to admit, I'm a little bit biased in this set as much as I oh, like yeah. Select. Axelov is now, I've started taking lessons from him oh, for Protoss. That's so right. that's there's, right. a, there's a part of me. He's actually been favoring Immortals in a lot of matchups uh, uh, well, lately. Quite so good. It's not even just limited to Incineration Zone versus Terran, yeah. but we'll see now. He's going to take a lot of pressure. Select oh. moving up, taking out these pylons one by one. Siege mode is not done yet for Select. He just started it. I don't know if that was a mistake or just something he couldn't afford because he was kind of losing some some workers here and there, but um, that's going to cause a bit of a problem. Otherwise, I would say he's in a great spot. Looks like Axelab might be considering attacking here. He's being very cautious because he doesn't know that Siege Mode isn't quite done yet for Select. Right. And uh, you know what, though? Every time he pokes up, he sees that those tanks aren't sieged up. It looks like he decides to put the Stalkers in the front a little more aggressive, making sure yeah. that bunker does not end up getting up. Uh, even if it does, it's going to be so low on health right now. Oh, look That's at that. Very Force true. Field dropping down and uh, traps a couple of units. Is that going to be enough for... Uh, yeah, actually, he can know, assault man. that bunker head on. Those Marines are doing so well right right now for uh, Select. I mean, that's really kind of what he has going for him. He's making four Marines at once. It's quite a few. He's trying to remake this bunker here. And another Immortal on the way here for Axlav. But is it going to be enough to defend? Select way down on supply right now, but his army is just really looking strong here. 
All right, well, let's see as uh, Axelov finally has some of his production under fire. Siege mode yep. did finish up. This makes this uh, position a lot more strong. Force select drops down one force heal, but the Marines are able to cycle around the side. So not all of yep. those go down. Oh, the However, they were untouched by the Immortals up at the top. Yes, the bunker is finished, but it's falling very quickly to those yep. Immortals, and everything is going to get cleaned up. 24 supply to 50 now in favor of Axelov. Yeah, Axelov doubling the supply of select right now, and this 1-1-1 one, one, one just may not be working out. Axelov even expanding behind this. What? Look at this, he's chasing his opponent all the way back to his base through the, that back rocks area. This looks like the place where like Anakin and Obi-Wan fought in it Revenge does. of the Sith, doesn't it? Yes. It kind of does. This fight is much more entertaining, though, I gotta say. I don't know, man. That was interested. a lot of bodily harm I've given to uh, Anakin, if Yeah, we're honest. but, you know, the Marines getting fried by a Colossus or something looks similar. That's true. I suppose, but, I don't know, I think this one will have maybe about the same ending. <laughs> for, uh, for the human side. We'll see. That's very true. Yeah. As uh, Axelov, this is a pretty punishing force for him now. He does yeah, have absolutely. that expansion down. Uh, and, of course, he cut one uh, you know, production cycle to get that done. But as soon as that's finished, he's right back on and pressing his advantage. Still up by 30 supply with an additional base. And uh, this bunker is not long for this world. Yep, bunker goes down here. The immortal number is getting a little bit out of hand here. Three immortals is a lot to deal with. And, yeah, with all those zealots, all those stalkers, the supply lead is just so much right now. For Infinity 7 Axelive, I don't think that Select is going to be able to really hold him off for too much longer here. Axelive actually just playing this so safe. All right. Well, uh, Axelov just waiting for Select to kind of kill himself on this army or get in a position where he well, can use those force goes. wheels the best. But it doesn't matter. He has enough and he can start to just brute force his way up the ramp. There's the Guardian Shield protecting those units from the range of Marines of Select. Now the production for Axelov is starting to kick in. A Robo Bay is coming up and he is doing yet more economic damage. You know, I got to say, those Zealots didn't do a whole lot. They pushed back the Marines, but they didn't get a whole lot of hits in here. But it doesn't matter. I mean, Axelov just has so many units here. Another Guardian Shield going down, reducing using the damage that those Marines do by quite a bit. And this may be getting near the end yeah. of game one here. Of the Yacht Yield Map GG. Tournament. There's the GG, guys. Yep. So uh, <laughs> Select has gone down.